This is Kelso Sturgeon. Welcome to another day at my College of Advanced Sports Handicapping. This report is on the NFL for Sunday, October the 16th. We have a lot of details to go over, so let's uh, let's get right to it. First of all, today's betting menu, uh, releasing another 50-unit NFL Game of the Week winner, uh, four one and one with my last uh, uh, six uh, 50-unit NFL plays. Also, uh, my best bets club, the best bargain on the board. Uh, you can go three and zero with my best bets club today, uh, uh, with three games highlighted by a ten-unit power play. And then uh, my chairman's club uh, on Sunday night, a twenty-five-unit play on the nicely televised uh, a game between the Minnesota Vikings and the Chicago Bears. And on Monday night, a twenty-five-unit side and total parlay on the uh, Miami. Uh, New York Jets game. You know, it's it's it. All these games are available on this site right now. All of them are priced right. I uh, take all major credit cards, and uh, uh, you can get them uh, not only on this site but toll free at one eight hundred seven five five two two five five. Let me run them down again. A fifty unit uh, NFL game of the week. Uh, a three a three team package for my best bets club members. Uh, uh, highlighted by a 10-unit uh, power play and a 25-unit play on the uh, Sunday night game nationally televised on NBC uh, between the uh, Minnesota Vikings and the Chicago Bears. Uh, also, on Monday night, uh, coming back with a 25-unit side and total parlay on the Miami Jets game. Once again, all these games available on this site or toll-free at uh, 1-800-755-755. Uh, 2255. Now let's jump right in here. Uh, the first thing I want to remind you of in the NFL, be alert for uh, any moves in the late moves in the uh, uh, in the totals category, especially if that uh, if the totals move one way or the other, one and a half or two points. All late totals moves are wise guy money. These are people who have uh, uh, probably bet a little bit early, but have waited to make their big total wagers uh, late and. Uh, uh, frankly, when it comes to totals, uh, they're usually right. So watch uh, the late totals moves today on your betting board, uh, and you can go with them with a certain degree uh, of confidence. Now, there's also a ton of injuries today. I just want to go over uh, uh, some of the uh, some of the top personnel reports. You know, Houston rolls into Baltimore uh, pretty beat up. Uh, the word is that quarterback <coughs> Matt Schwab. Uh, who has a shoulder injury, will play. I think it's of note that he didn't practice until Thursday. Uh, uh, wide receiver uh, Andre Johnson, uh, doubtful for the game, and of course uh, a real major blow to the defense of Mario Williams uh, out for the season uh, with an injury. Indiana at Cincinnati, important to know. Running back Joseph Adai will be out for the Colts. Uh, Curtis Painter starts again for Indianapolis. In the Tampa Bay game, uh, the uh, uh, the uh, Buccaneers host uh, uh, the New Orleans Saints and will be without running back LeGarrette uh, Blount, who has had a sensational season uh, thus far. Now let's go over the biggest line moves to date. The biggest line move on the board came on the uh, Philadelphia-Washington game, and all the money came in on Philadelphia. This game opened with Washington uh, uh, minus one. Uh, Philadelphia is now minus one and a half. Giant move, two and a half points. Uh, uh, you've got to respect it, especially the way the Eagles uh, have not been playing. Uh, the biggest disparity on the board, and I find this amusing, and this has to have its basis uh, in all the injury reports that uh, uh, the Houston uh, uh, Texans have. Now get this. Uh, this game opened with Baltimore minus five and a half. Now here's what's up on the board now. Uh, the game is seven and a half at Chris and the Greek uh, offshore books. It's nine at the Offshore Books Pinnacle and Five Dimes. It's eight at the Hilton in Las Vegas, and nine at at least one Offshore Book. I mean, we've got a variation here from seven and a half uh, to nine, which is uh, uh, quite interesting as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the second biggest line move on the board, uh, uh, despite uh, the injury to LeGarrette Blount, the money has showed up on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers over uh, the uh, New Orleans Saints. The Saints opened at four and a half in this game. Uh, I beg your pardon, the Saints opened at six in this game. Uh, they're now a minus four and a half. Now some other uh, game by game notes. Uh, St. Louis uh, and the Green Bay Packers uh, in Green Bay. 
St. Louis is 0-4 against the number and uh, uh, is winless this season. Uh, Green Bay Aaron Rodgers has led the uh, Packers to 11 straight wins dating back to last season and is 13-1 and in his last uh, 14 home starts at, uh, at Lambeau. In those games, he's completed 68% of his passes, 33 touchdowns, and just 9 interceptions. Philadelphia at Washington, we mentioned this early. All the money uh, that came, came in on uh, this game came in on Philadelphia. It was all wise guy money, and there's something to note here in this game. The Philadelphia Eagles are off to a dreadful 1-4 and four start after being one of the favorites to win the Super Bowl. Now, since 1990, five teams have opened the season 1-4 and four and made the playoffs. No team has ever opened uh, the uh, season 1-5 and five and made the playoffs. So this is a must-win game for the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, you know, it's also interesting in looking at the Eagles and, and trying to wade through all these uh, uh, different uh, angles is that uh, this is a team that's turned the ball over an NFL worst 15 times uh, uh, this season, and Michael Vick has already thrown seven interceptions uh, in five games. This is one more interception than he threw all last season. I, I have to study this game with great care. Now, the uh, Buffalo at the New York Giants game, the Giants are a minus uh, uh, three-point favorite, and, you know, I really can't dispute that, but my figures say this game is absolutely dead even. These are two good football teams. Their personnel matches up perfectly, and this one figures to be a real Donningbrook. Uh, both teams score in the red zone uh, at better than a 70% rate. Uh, it is of note that the Bills have intercepted 12 passes uh, uh, this season. This is a dead even game. The Giants are a three-point favorite. If you like, uh, if you think that the home field in uh, the Meadowlands is worth the three, you know what to do. If you think it's not, you know what to do. You do the math. Dallas at New England. The Cowboys have an offense uh, ranked uh, sixth. The defense ranked fourth uh, among the 32 teams. They're coming off a bye. They, uh, they, they face a New England team that, get this, is first uh, in offense and last in defense. Uh, that also presents a problem. It also is of note that the New England Patriots have won 19 straight regular season uh, games at home. Now let me run down what's going on today and then uh, we'll uh, let you go about your business. First of all, a 50-unit NFL a game of the week today. A three-game best bets package that's topped by a 10-unit uh, power play. A 25-unit play on tonight's uh, 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 game between the... Uh, uh, Minnesota Vikings and the Chicago Bears, and then a 25-unit side in total on Monday night on the uh, New York Jets-Miami game. You can get all these games, all my selections on this website, or toll-free at 1-800-755-2255. All major credit cards are accepted. Now let's go get the money.